Hey guys, what's going on? It's Michael with Michael Semi Daily Updates. Just want to jump in here real quick and say, hey, thanks for all the support. Like always, up to 97 subscribers, so three more away from 100. If I can get uh, three more subscribers, I'm up to 100, and that'll be a big deal for me. I know 100's like laugh at, but to me, it, it's cool. I, I mean, 100, that's, that's the beginning. They said it takes just as long to get your first 100 subscribers as it does to take to get your next 1,000. So we'll see if that's the case. Uh, I've been up for about two years now, so, you know, I'm getting, you know, a subscriber, what, two years, that's 24 months, that's a half a subscriber a month, you know, well, it, I appreciate every single subscriber. But I did want to jump in here real quick and say um, just a little bit, uh, 49ers lost that game last night to the Vikings. Uh, I lost some money, I would have took the 49ers to cover that spread. Brock Purdy, they keep talking about, is he the new Tom Brady? I don't think so. I think Brock Purdy has been put down in a very good situation in San Francisco and really hasn't been dealt too uh, bad of a hand. You know, he's got great weapons. You know, if you look at the people that he beat, he did beat some good teams, but he had a, a good team that he was playing with. And then, you know, he went out in that playoff game against Philadelphia last year. Now he's faced, uh, you know, the last two. He'd been undefeated up till his... It was, I think it was something crazy. I think he, he hadn't lost a, any game he'd started. Now he's lost his last two in a row. So uh, I don't think Brock Purdy is definitely the next Tom Brady. I mean, he might turn out to be, you know, a, a pretty decent quarterback. He seems to have the skill set and the patience and the, to be a pocket passer. But uh, he's definitely not Tom Brady. He's, he's in a good system. You put him in another system and we'll see what happens to good old Brock Purdy. So that's my picks. The other thing is Kansas City Chiefs, very underrated. They are now 6-1, and one, not getting talked about at all, and we haven't even really looked that great. We started looking pretty good against the Chargers. The offense looked good. Defense looked good. Defense looked good all year. We lost Michael Bolton, or Michael Bolton, Nick Bolton, which, uh, you know, um, that threw me off Michael Bolton. How am I supposed to live without you? Um, Nick Bolton will be out for a couple months, it sounds like, with a – I think a dislocated wrist, so that hurts. But um, the Chiefs looking good, uh, like always. I mean, are we going to be in six straight uh, AFC championship games in Kansas City? I mean, that's – if so, that's the case. It's insane. I could have never dreamed of what we're going through in Kansas City. But um, they're still my Super Bowl pick. Uh, honestly, 49ers on the NFC, I think it would be a rematch, the Chiefs and the 49ers, and I think that would be a tough game. But that's just my early call. But um, – and that, that's that's about it. So anyways, to cover this up, I'm at 97 subscribers. So if I can get three more subscribers, I'll be to the triple digits, guys. Triple digits. And then um, I'm going to make a video later on ChargePoint stock because it's 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 at an all-time low. I mean, this, in my opinion, this stock has some possibilities. But uh, I'll talk about that in a later video. This one, I just want to touch on Brock Purdy and say... That it wasn't too purdy yesterday against the Vikings and definitely threw a terrible pass to end the game yesterday and lost me some money. But I always do put, uh, to hedge my bet, I always put a little bit of money on the underdog just to win straight up. So I did get that, but uh, I was off. I usually am an underdog guy, but I thought San Francisco would take it with Minnesota and they just, they just didn't have it. They didn't look explosive. Minnesota looked it's, of course, fantastic. They look like the best team in the league. Um, you know, Kirk Cousins throwing 300, I think 45 yards or something crazy. I also had him to stay under 300 yards. So I got smoked last night. But uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for the um, support. Three, Like I said, three away from 100. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, get up to that number. That would make me so happy. I appreciate everybody that constantly, uh, you know, watches these and... Uh, Another thing is I wanted to say uh, I'm going to make a charge point video later, and I was going to say something really important, but I forgot. So um, tune in next time, and I might remember. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. Let's get that 100 subscribers. Also, if you want to, comment in the section. Let me tell you what you think about Brock Purdy. Do you think he's the real deal? Do you think he's, you know, just a product of the system? Um, same thing, the Vikings. They was talking about Vikings possibly tanking the season, trading Kirk Cousins to get uh, – that stud coming out of college. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, oh, my gosh. But anyways, the Heisman Trophy front runner in, uh, in college. Uh, Caleb Williams. I can't remember. Oh, my gosh. I can't remember his name. I'm having a tough, tough day today, guys. But that's it. Like and subscribe. Comment if you want to. I'll always get back with you. And thanks so much for the support. Take care, guys.